Welcome to Common Roasters. Uh, I'm going to show you the effect of the diffuser in the open and closed position. And I'm going to do it just as an illustration of what happens um, in a, just in a warm up cycle. So you have an understanding when your beans are in the roaster and you open and close it, what effect it has. And once again, it's the difference between doing a convection roast versus a conduction roast. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start the roaster on a warm-up cycle. I've got my air on. I'm going to put my drum on four. And before I ignite, I'm just going to start. I can see I've already been working on my roaster a bit, so there's a bit of temperature in it. But there's basically your PTET temperatures running. And I am going to do the gas ignition. At this stage, the diffuser is in the closed position. So I'm just going to turn my gas to the 20 millibar position and leave it there. Right, so you can, from the ignition, you can already see the temperature. Okay. I'm going to put charge on just so that we can see the delta um, BT and ET temperatures. And uh, so you can see your rate of rise. And we will give it a second just to stabilize. And uh, once it's stabilized, I will um, close the diffuser. And you will be able to see um, the change in the rate of the temperature increasing. Um, right, so we'll just give it a second or two. Right, so we're just going to give this um, blue line the BT delta temperature. We'll just give it a chance to kind of level out. And then I will show you um, the effect of the diffuser. As you can see, both of them are more or less now kind of in the position where they settle down. The longer you leave it, the more it'll just kind of, kind of parallel, kind of travel next to each other. And you can also see your, just the rate of um, the temperature on the probes climbing there. Alright, so I'm going to now close the diffuser and you'll see the effect of it. So now we've gone to convection roasting. The diffuser grid is getting hot. That hot air is drawn through the drum and it's obviously um, that's the reading that you're getting on the the probes right now and you can see it's kind of gone off the screen um, the BT and ET um, rate of rise is quite high right now this will now you can also see like the rate at which the roaster is warming up the air that's going through how much it's turned there and this will now gradually stabilize and the two temperatures will start coming down or the, the, both delta and uh, BT and ET will come down and start stabilizing again. Uh, so you can imagine if you were roasting and you closed the diffuser, you're actually pushing quite a lot of heat quite quickly through the beans. So ideally not something you want to do towards the end of the roast. Um, when I do um, a convection roast, I try to start with my diffuser in a closed position and keep it in that position for most of the roast. Uh, sometimes towards the end to slow the process down, I kind of reopen it again. But you can see it's now coming down again and it will now stabilize. And um, once it's stabilized, I will just, um, I'll open it again. And uh, you can see the effect of that.
So you can see that um, both these um, indicators have now kind of come back to the position where it was before and uh, will now start traveling along and uh, we'll give it a second to just stabilize again and then I will um, open the diffuser and uh, you can see the effect of that then. Okay, so now I'm going to open it. So now the heat from the burner is going more directly onto the drum. It's not heating up the diffuser grid that much. And um, you can see the effect of that as the rate of rise on both the BT and ET um, temperatures have dropped. Now this will just turn around again and come back up and stabilize um, where it was before again. Right guys, um, as you can see, um, the temperature is coming back up again there. Um, you can see the dip that happened when I opened up the, the diffuser again. Now obviously the heat is going back onto the drum. The drum is heating up the air inside the roaster and uh, that will start climbing up again and start getting towards our um, drop in temperature. I hope this helps. Um, thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.